This forecast is powered by Johnson's Appliances and Betty, located in Ocean City and Wildwood, or online at johnsonsappliances.net. Well, it's 5 o'clock on your hump day Wednesday morning. I hope everybody out there is doing well today. I am in a very good mood because we are in store for some pretty wet weather later on this afternoon and evening. And the first time since early August that we're talking about a widespread heavy rain. And by 2 o'clock, if you're not dressed like Scuba Steve, you're certainly doing it wrong. It's going to be that wet out there, and it's not going to be the nicest day, for sure. Plenty of dihydrogen monoxide is going to be falling from above. Okay, don't worry, it's just water. I hope I helped little Johnny with his science homework this morning. Anyway, let's take a look at our big picture. Great weather, gorgeous weather. This is the kind of weather we tap into tomorrow. We basically go in reverse where we were yesterday and the day before. That's over Chicago and Columbus, the Ohio Valley, Western Pennsylvania. For us, we have the cold front coming through and we have this area of low pressure. This is gonna transition into a pretty potent storm as it wraps up in the New England uh, by tonight. But for us, it is gonna bring some rain, it's gonna bring some wind and overall not very pleasant conditions. Southeast winds, Maybe a round of tidal flooding within the next hour or so. Uh, very, very minor, spotty for most of you. We don't have a persistent onshore flow. We're not looking at a long duration event, so it's not going to be a major issue there. But I wouldn't be shocked if the tides came up uh, just enough to have some ponding on the roadways. But the big story today is going to be the rain that's coming our way. Let's get you out the door. Cloudy skies right now. It's not until later on in the morning that we're going to increase our chance of seeing some wet weather after 8 o'clock. And honestly, most of it doesn't even get here until the lunch hour. It's still well out to our southwest over the Washington Baltimore metro area. It still has to get across Delmarva. We'll show you a future cast in a second. I'm going to North Factor today of only a three. That's because it is going to be a day for the Ducks for sure. 54 in Atlantic City right now, 56 in Philadelphia, 57 out in Pittsburgh, 48 in Scranton, and up into New England. Very chilly, as you can tell, with the blues on the map. Here's our rain all the way out here over the Virginias, but it's knock, knock, knocking on our doorstep within the next five or six hours. So it is a quick moving storm. That's good because we don't need it lingering around. It's going to be in and out. Probably a shot of six or seven hours of rain, and then it's going to move up into New England. But look at how heavily it's going to be raining over Baltimore and Washington and southeast Pennsylvania, getting into our neck of the woods. The heaviest arrives probably around 2 o'clock, and you see the yellows and the oranges, and that's going to make it difficult for you to be driving out there. And I think for the heart of the evening rush hour tonight, it's going to be a little bit dicey out there as the kids are getting off the school buses this afternoon. Make sure you're sending them off with umbrellas and rain jackets. They will need them later on. Then the back end of this stuff starts to come through just after the dinner hour, wrapping up into central Jersey, north Jersey, into the New York tri-state area, and then all the way out of here for your Thursday morning as we are going to be drier, we're going to be clearer, but we're also going to be windier. We'll touch on that in a second, but let's get an idea of what we're looking at for our future cast rainfall totals up through about four, five, six o'clock, maybe a half of an inch, and then another round comes through that could get a lot of you over an inch. There will be some that fall shy of it, but generally I think an inch is very achievable. There could be some with these heavier bands set up over your neighborhood that could get a little bit more than that. Very wet. That's the underlying theme of today's forecast by the afternoon at least. 70 in Blackwood and Vineland, 69 for Hamilton, 67 for Atlantic City, 68 in Stone Harbor. Winds will be out of the south-southeast at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, picking up, especially at the coast later on as that storm intensifies and gets a little bit closer to our area. We step back on your Thursday, sunny skies initially. I think clouds will try to build in for the latter part of the day, but the big story for tomorrow is going to be the winds gusting to probably 40 or 50 miles an hour. For that reason, we have a wind advisory in effect for Atlantic and Cape May, Cumberland, portions of Burlington, and up into Ocean County, Monmouth County as well. By the time we wake up on Thursday morning, these are the projected wind gusts. 50 in Cape May, 44 in Atlantic City, 39 in uh, Bay's Landing. That's incredible. We'll see the numbers back down later on in the day, but it's going to take a while to get there. 
Storm systems out of here completely by Friday. Gorgeous weather Friday and Saturday. Sunday is looking really nice. 72, next chance of organized rain early next week.